My name is Zach Tanner. I'm a rice seed producer in southeast Missouri, just uh, west of Crowley's Ridge on the north end of the Mississippi Delta. Uh, the town nearest to me is Bernie, Missouri, and our soil type is predominantly Crowley silt loam. Produced rice seed for Horizon since the early 2000s. I'm standing in a field of CLL 16. We have quite a bit of production of this variety this year. Uh, this will be our third year for this variety. The first year in 2019, we had a phenomenal yield, but it was on a limited acreage. In 2020, we had it on a much broader acreage. Both years yielded well over 200 dry bushels per acre, and that's kind of been the benchmark of what we're looking for is a 200 bushel rice, and that had historically done that for us. So we, we actually planted more of it this year. This field I'm standing in is furrow irrigated. We have some of this variety that is paddy rice. When we're looking for a good candidate for furrow irrigated varieties, we're looking for early vigor and blast tolerance, and this variety has both. And it looks like the proof will be in the yield, and time will tell, but looks like an excellent candidate for furrow irrigated rice. This field of CLL 16 was planted around April 10th, and was planted at around 55 pounds an acre. Tillered well, and it had early vigor, and that's important, uh, especially in this furrow irrigated situation where we're trying to shade and block the sunlight so that we can prevent weeds from coming up. Along with the early vigor comes some sheath blight resistance. We didn't have any issues with that. Along with tillering well, the variety makes a good panicle. Historically, we've averaged over 200 dry bushels an acre. So sometimes people ask me, what would I do? What would I plant? And how would I manage a fur irrigated rice? And this field of Horizon Eggs CLL 16 was planted at around 55 pounds an acre. And we put out a pre-plant blend according to what the uh, soil test suggests. And then on our nitrogen, we tend to follow a modified version of Arkansas's recommendations. At flood up or when we start watering our fur irrigated rice, we'll apply 200 pounds of urea. And then 21 days later, I apply 100 pounds of urea. And then on the 28th day after the original 200 pounds, I apply 50 pounds of urea. Insofar as herbicide, it's important to me to include New Path with my command, especially in a fur irrigated situation because uh, New Path provides an excellent base for your grass control, or it, it certainly helps. And what I try to do is I'll layer different pre-merged herbicides and at two, three leaf, I will apply uh, generally another light rate of command along with new path and then along with facet or clear path. So if I don't use new path, I'll use clear path at a half pound an acre. And then at flood up, whenever I start putting water on this rice, I'll use different things, but as a general rule, I'll use propanil, new path again, and then uh, prowl. So by layering the pre-merge applications along with post-merge application products uh, really helps us keep our fields clean. When you look at this plant, CLL-16's vigor, its disease resistance, particularly to blast, its ability to yield, and its ability to produce a high quality, good milling rice. Someone asked me what I would plant on a furrow irrigated situation. I think I would plant CLL-16 simply because of those reasons. I think it's a good candidate for that acre, that fur irrigated acre.